Good morning, everyone. This is Morgan with MidAtlantic, and we also have Lindsay from our office as well as Vanessa from Mapulate. Thank you for taking the time to participate in our webinar. MidAtlantic has been working aggressively with Appulate to come up with a submission portal to benefit both us, the broker, your agency, and even your insured. I'm excited to share some of this amazing features, so let's get started. So you may be wondering how this portal can benefit your agency or what's in it for you. I can sum it up in one word, speed. This portal will increase your speed with submission process and increase your turnaround time with delivering quotes to your insured. Bottom line, it's about helping our clients as quickly and efficiently as possible. As you can see on this slide, we have identified several benefits to our portal. But one of the comments I constantly hear from our agents that are currently using Appulate is how easy it is to add other lines of business in Appulate. And yes, you will receive your quotes back much faster. We will talk about this in just a moment. You may have known we have had workers comp on Appulate for a couple years, but we are the first broker that is offering six other lines of business in the portal. With having multiple lines of business in the system, it is much easier for our agents and underwriters to manage their submissions. Earlier, I mentioned Lindsay from our office has also joined us today. She is a new business underwriter that focuses on our non-comp lines. She would like to take a time, take a moment to share her experience. Lindsay? Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming to the webinar today. We really appreciate it. Um, we have handpicked some of our top agents to join us with our first package lines demo. Um, I'm one of the new business underwriters that focuses on non-comp lines. Um, I have actually seen a huge difference when agents submit their new submissions through Appulate um, as far as you know, speed and um, being able to get through things quickly. Um, I'm able to submit to our markets a lot faster um, because I'm not having to rekey everything in again. Um, so that allows me to get your quote back faster, which is, you know, usually the most important thing is we need to be competitive and um, quick. Um, we really appreciate you guys, um, all your business, and we hope the program helps you guys write more with us. Back Thank to you, Morgan. Lindsay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for sharing that with us. Okay, so any new submissions you have as of today, please start submitting through Appulate. Any accounts that are bound in Appulate Portal will offer you a chance to win up to $100 on a gift card. I'll give you details in just a moment. If you have any questions or suggestions on how the portal could benefit you or perhaps something that needs to be made more user-friendly, please contact me. Appulate, Appulate, as well as myself, would love to hear any feedback you may have. In the next two weeks, please look out for the survey. We will send to you for any additional suggestions. Your name will also be entered in a drawing for a chance to win another gift card. As I was just saying a moment ago, if you find any accounts through Appulate, you will receive an email from me, which will allow us to set up a time to spin our live wheel we have here in the office. Based on the premium of the account bound, you are eligible to win any of the amounts listed by tier, as you can see here on this slide. You can either FaceTime in, use your computer camera, or simply just speak with us over the phone, if you prefer. Our office would like to cheer you and your agency on to thank you for working with us. Now I'd like to take this time to introduce Vanessa with Appulate. She will walk you through how to process a submission through the portal. Vanessa? Thank you, Morgan, for that introduction. Uh, we're very excited to be partnered with Mid-Atlantic and show you today how easy it is to use Appulate to submit to Mid-Atlantic. But before I get into my live demo, I just wanted to give you some quick information on Appulate. So Appulate is a technology company with a growing network of over 30,000 agencies nationwide and hundreds of markets, making Appulate the place where agents, MGAs, and carriers do business digitally. Recently, we broke an Appulate record receiving more than 16,000 submissions through Appulate in just one month, and we continue to stay committed to you, the agent, by empowering you to expand your markets, automate your workflow, and save you time and money. So a little more on each of these points. We add new markets, like our partner Mid-Atlantic, often. We uh, will show you in the demo demonstration today how we can automate your workflow, but let's get into how you can save some time and money here a bit, because I know that that's what everybody's interested in. So based on a survey that we conducted on retail agents, agents are averaging about 40 submissions per month, and agents reported an average savings of about 37 minutes per submission using Appulate. 37 minutes per submission using Appulate and savings. Now, this translates to an average of close to 1,500 minutes or over 24 hours saved per month with Appulate. And we all know that if we can save time, we can save dollars. 
those numbers, the average savings per agent is $593 per agent per month or over $7,000 per year. Okay, over $7,000 per year can be saved per agent. Now, uh, so let's go ahead and get into our live demonstration. I want to show you exactly how this works. Now, if you've joined any of our prior Mid-Atlantic webinars, you may have seen a workers' comp demonstration, but today we wanted to show you how you can do package and auto, any non-comp lines. So for our first demonstration here, we're actually going to go through a package example, okay? So I have a package accord form pulled up here. It's a combination of all of these accord forms that I want to um, submit as a package. And I want to appulate it. Uh, so in other words, I'll print to the appulate uplink printer option. Now you may have these accord forms in an accord PDF as I have it here on my screen, or you may have it in your agency management system. And part of what makes Appulate unique is that we work with any agency management system. So the Appulate uplink feature is compatible with all management systems that can print to cord forms. So you can certainly start there and this will keep you from rekeying the information. So while I Appulate this, I want to mention that all of the accord forms that belong to the package should be selected when you print uh, if you're trying to create a single line of business, a package line of business. However, I'm going to toss this over to Morgan because she's going to explain which should be submitted as a part of a package and which should be submitted separately. Morgan? Thank you. Yes, when you submit a package um, using Appulate, you're going to take your GL and your property um, and put it in there. You could also have the Inland Marine as well. Um, but if you want to do an umbrella, workers comp, or business auto, these are going to be separate lines. Um, so you would, do, you would upload your package and then you're going to upload your umbrella separately along and then the work comp would be separately and same goes for you know the business auto and that will all go you would choose the option to do um add to the insured the existing insured thank you morgan all right so for this example we are going to choose package commercial here that's the line of business that we're trying to create and we're going to click the continue button so right now we're going through a package example. I'm going to go through a business auto example in just a little bit so you can see both. All right, so here's the insured that it created. Here's a line of business. If we hover over it, it's going to tell us what's included in this package. So for this one, we have general liability and property commercial based on the accord forms that were bridged over. Pulls over the uh, effective date. If this needs to be corrected, you could simply click on it and make that change here. It brought us into our Q&A section. Below is what we call our smart questionnaire, and you will see all of the information from your accord form has been bridged over. There is no need to rekey the information if you already have it on the accord form. Uplink will bridge that information over to save you time. Okay, so our next step here is to go ahead and add Mid-Atlantic as the market. So uplink your accord forms and choose Mid-Atlantic as your market. And to the right-hand side, you're going to notice a letter indication. And this will help guide you through the submission process. So this is telling you all of the questions that are missing and required. And you must answer these down below in the Smart Questionnaire before clicking on the Submit button. And this will ensure that Mid-Atlantic has all of the information that they need in order to give you your quote back as quickly as possible. So just get all of that information over to them up front. So to answer the missing and required questions, you can use these live links. So if you click on any one of these, it will take you directly to where that question is missing and required. So there's no hunting for information. You can get right to it. However, if you wanted to start from the beginning and review all of the information, you can certainly do that. Just jump through each section or click on the next button to keep you moving forward. The section that has this little red number in it means that there are missing and required questions. They'll have a red asterisk next to them. So there shouldn't be any uh, issues finding those questions. Now, if there are areas that are very heavy and yes, no questions, I do want to point out this handy little button here on the top right hand side, mark all as no. If you click on that, it's going to answer all of the questions in this open section as no so that you don't have to click on each one. However, if you answer them all as no, and then you need to change any to yes, 
you can certainly do that. Now, this is a dynamic questionnaire, so based on how you answer certain questions, more questions may appear or questions may be eliminated. It's part of why we call it a dynamic or a smart questionnaire. All right, so the goal is to get a green A and a green submit button. That means that you fulfill the requirements and you can go ahead and click on the submit button. So at this point, we're ready, but before I do that, there's a few other things that I'd like to point out to you. So up here at the very top, there's a send questionnaire to complete icon. If you click on that, you can send this questionnaire over to your insured if you're missing information. So if you're filling this out and you notice that one of the required questions you don't have the answer to, you're gonna have to call up your insured. There's an easy way to do this. You could go ahead and send them the questionnaire. You have options here as to what exactly you send them in here, maybe just required unanswered only, or maybe you want them to see all of it so that they can review everything that you've already done. And when you click OK, it's going to give you this pop-up so you can set up an email that will be sent right over to your insured. Your insured will get an email with a link that they can click on that will allow them to review whatever it is that you sent over to them and answer and make edits to those questions. So that is what we call our reverse portal. Again, it's this little icon here at the top right-hand side, the little paper with the question mark and you can have your insured help you fill out the rest of these questions. Now, uh, one other thing that I wanna point out before we click the submit button, there are tabs here on the left-hand side that you might want to uh, access. The first uh, is the lost runs tab that I wanna point out. If you have any lost runs to attach as a part of your submission, you can jump over to the lost runs tab and you can drag and drop files or click on the uh, button to uh, browse your computer and attach them. First, it will want you to input the insurance history information. If it was on your record form, it will bridge it over so you don't need to rekey it, but if it wasn't, like it wasn't in mine, you could go ahead and just input the carrier's information here. Okay, once you do that on the right-hand side, there's gonna be a little paperclip icon that again, you can browse your computer for to upload those lost runs or drag and drop. Any other documents that you would like to attach, anything other than lost runs, can be attached in the Docs tab. Again, by dragging and dropping files or clicking the Select button to browse your computer. And finally, any notes. If you would like to share any notes with Mid-Atlantic about this, you can plug it in here under Shared, click the Add button, and Mid-Atlantic will have access to these notes to review. All right, so bridge over your record form, fulfill the requirements. Once you have a green Submit button, you're ready to go. Go ahead and click on the Submit button. And you'll notice that the status changes accordingly to Stay Submitted. So that's sort of your receipt. If you're not sure where you're at in the process, you can always take a look at the status menu here. In this case, it's been submitted. Okay, so this will trigger a notification to the Mid-Atlantic team. They will review, they will quote this and get you a quote back as quickly as possible. So what I would like to do now is take you through an example of auto. So you've submitted your package and you also want to get an auto out to Mid-Atlantic. So there's a couple of ways that you can start. Um, if you have your record form, start there so you don't have to rekey the information. Just go to the Accord PDF or within your agency management system, find the Accord form that you have filled out for auto and uplink it or appulate it, just as we did before. You'll print to the appulate uplink printer option. Okay, same exact process. Confirm your appulate credentials and click send. And here it's going to ask you, look, it looks like you already have this insured file in appulate. Do you want to um, update the existing or do you want to create new insured? And we want to update the existing. We want to make sure that all of these are a part of the same file. We're not trying to create duplicates. We're simply trying to do another line of business uh, submission for this insured. So we'll update existing and click continue. Okay, so same exact process, same exact workflow. It's just different forms and different questions. But you're gonna go ahead and add Mid-Atlantic. And you'll go through here and fulfill the requirements. So use the live links 
or navigate directly to where you see those missing and required questions. And I'll go ahead and answer these here really quickly so that we can do this submission as well. Okay, we fulfilled the requirements. We have a green A for accepted, a green submit button that we can click on. Same process here, if you need to gather information from your insured, you can use this icon up here. If you need to attach loss runs or documents or include notes, you have those tabs here. And go ahead and click on the submit button. And when you submit, the status will change accordingly to say submit it, okay? So we've uh, really, in a matter of minutes, there been able to submit a package and a business auto submission over to Mid-Atlantic. So Morgan's gonna talk a little bit now about turnaround time, and then I'll show you how you can start from Appulate if you don't have Accord Forms. Morgan, can you tell us about turnaround time? Yes, thank you. When you use an Appulate, you can expect a much faster turnaround time compared to when your email, your submission's in. Again, this is due to the fact of our requirements to submit off to our carriers are all listed in the portal. And since we do have 30 markets and growing, we are able to get these submissions in much faster. With the majority of the quotes, depending on the risk and line of business, you can ex expect a quote within 24 or 48 hours. Perfect, all right. So Morgan's gonna work on quoting uh, one of these or both of these for us in the background. While she does that, I want to show you how if you don't have Accord Forms, you can always start directly in Appulate. You do not need to have access to Accord Forms or a management system or Accord PDFs to use Appulate to submit to Mid-Atlantic. And there's some bonuses in here for you um, to just start directly in Appulate. So if you do not have access to Accord Forms, you don't have an Accord Form filled out, you can log right into Appulate. And the very first page that it logs you into, you're gonna see this Add New Customer or Prospect button on the top left-hand side. So go ahead and click on that. And uh, it's going to ask you to input the insured's name. Okay, and this is all that's required, so I could just keep moving forward once I plug that in. I'll click the Continue button, and we'll choose the line of business. So for this example, we are going to choose Package, Commercial Package, and this next line is gonna ask us for the coverage lines. So I want to include in this package, let's say Property. I want to include General Liability. Uh, let's see, I also wanna do Inland Marine. All right, we'll do those three. So notice that you're choosing package, but you're also choosing the coverage lines. It's actually required, so make sure that you plug all of that in here. Okay, choose the effective and expiration date. It'll auto-populate something for you, which is editable. Go ahead and click the Continue button. All right, and then it's the same process from here. So you had those first two screens where you had to create the insured record, but now you're back in this Q&A tab and the process is the same as I was showing you earlier. You'll choose Mid-Atlantic from the drop-down menu and you'll answer the missing and required questions. Now, of course, you don't have an Accord form, so it's not plugging those right in for you. You're going through here section by section and inputting the information directly in Accolade. If uh, you need to add it to a table, you'll have to click on New Record, oops, and you'll have to manually input the information. Okay, so I won't make you watch me answer all of these questions, but I answered just a couple because I wanna show you that all of the information that you plug directly into Appulate, or more specifically into the Smart Questionnaire, gets plugged into Accord Forms for you in the background. So yes, we auto-populate Accord Forms for you. You can go to the Forms tab, and let's say you wanted the 125, 126, uh, let's see, 139, you know, whatever combination of Accord Forms that you need. I'll just select those for now, um, and I'll click on Get as One PDF. It will turn all of these into a single PDF file, and when I open up that single PDF file, you'll see all of the information has been plugged in. Any information that I've plugged directly into Appulate will populate these. And again, I only answered a couple of questions, and, and so that's what's in here now. You have access to these 
all the time. You can come in here and review these accord forms and extract them from Appula even whenever you need. So for those of you that don't have management systems or access to accord forms, now you do, okay? It was brought to you by Mid-Atlantic. All right, so we've talked about how to uh, uplink existing accord forms. We went through a package and an auto example, but it works the same for all lines of business. It's just different questions. You know that you can always get started directly in Appulate. So now what happens after the submission? Well, Morgan uh, quoted that for us in the background. So Morgan, do we have that quote ready? Yes, we do. Okay, great. So I'm going to go back into our insured record. Let's just go ahead and pull up package. And once you once the quote is ready, uh, your status will change accordingly to quote prepared, and the quote will be right within Appulate for you. Now, you don't have to keep logging in all the time to see if it's been loaded. You will receive email notifications. So you'll get email notification, and then at that point, you can log in here and take a look. So we have this builder's mutual quote. I could click on it to open it up. It does open up in a PDF. You can review it instantly. You can extract it from Appulate if you would like as well. So go through this and review. If everything looks good to you, you um, can go ahead and move forward with it by requesting to bind, which we'll get into in just a second. But if you or your insured decline it, do let Mid-Atlantic know. Click on this drop-down menu here under status and update the status to decline by insured or decline by producer. Okay? So we will show you then how to move forward with your request to bind. Uh, you'll have to first answer any additional missing and required questions. So they may, there may be questions um, that Mid-Atlantic still needs in order to request to bind. So they, you, you got everything to them in order to quote, but now there's additional questions for request to bind. So I'll just go through here section by section and answer those missing and required questions. Looks like just a payment plan and a couple of others were needed. Okay, once I fulfill the requirements, same as before, I want to make sure that I have that green A for accepted, and I now have this request to bind button that I can click on. So when I click on request to bind, it will outline what the request to bind steps are. So in this case, it wants me to sign the 125 and upload loss runs if I haven't already done so. Okay, so go ahead and click on open signing tool. And it will want you to choose the producer and the applicant. I'm just going to choose myself and click OK for now just to show you this step. It is electronic signature. It's legally binding and fully enforceable. You'll just follow the prompts here. You really just have to type in your name and it creates a signature for you. Um, but there's also options to upload an image or create a signature. Um, or, um, you know, there's different options that will appear here. You'll see that here when I click on sign. So draw, upload, type. I'm going to go ahead and type. It's probably the easiest and the quickest. You can choose what that looks like. Click on save and insert and finalize. I agree to the terms, sign, and that's it. So in a matter of seconds there, you are able to electronically sign the accord form after you review it. As I mentioned, it will also send a copy to your insured when you chose uh, their name from the drop-down menu, and they will electronically sign it as well. All parties will be notified uh, when it has been signed, and if you go into Appulate and click this drop-down menu, it will show you the status, when it was sent on, when it was signed, who signed it, audit trail, if you want to send it again to remind the insured to sign, or cancel signing. Okay, for the request to bind, it does require your signature and the insured signature, so that's why this didn't light up as green. You will not be able to proceed without your signature and the insured signature. Okay, to keep things moving along, we'll go ahead and upload loss runs next. We'll click on Open Document Uploading Tool. It will take us back to where we were earlier, and if you click this icon here on the right-hand side, it will take us to where we need to upload loss runs on our computer. And once you have uploaded loss runs, it will show up in green as a check mark. Again, once the insured signs, this will also show up in green. And then you will be able to click on the proceed button. The status will change requested to bind. 
And uh, once it has been bound, as Morgan just did for us here, the status will also update. So the status has now updated to bound. The quoting functionality has been removed. And uh, you can view any policy docs in the policy docs section if MidAtlantic has uploaded those for us. And Morgan is now going to talk to us a little bit about turnaround time on the bind and when you'll receive policy docs. Morgan? Yes, once an account is bound, we will send you the policy by email as soon as it's been issued by the carrier. Either each carrier is different, but normally you will have the policy within five days of after binding. We will continue to send out all correspondence for that insured, such as cancellations, endorsements, audits, et cetera. But for your convenience, we will also upload these documents and appulate. Very good. All right, if we wanted to go ahead and bind the auto, I'm not going to show you that right now for the sake of time, but it would be the exact same process. You would go in there, review the quote, follow the request to bind steps the same exact way. All right, so we want to hear from you, but before we do, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you some um, setup items, then we'll go ahead and open it up for questions. So if you are not yet set up with Appulate, um, I'll show you how you can do that. First of all, everyone that was invited to this webinar already has an Appulate account, so you don't have to worry about signing up with Appulate. You're already signed up. It's free for you to use for Mid-Atlantic, so uh, you're good to go there. Go to appulate.com slash sign in to go ahead and input your credentials and sign in. If you don't know your credentials, if you didn't know you had them, you can always click on forgot password to reset them. Once you sign in, you'll want to make sure that you have the uplink tool installed if you want to bridge over a cord form. And you can do that under tools, appulate uplink, choose your management system from the drop down menu. If you don't see it listed, you can choose Other, and then click on the link to install. It installs on your desktop in less than a minute. Okay, if you have any issues or questions, you can always reach support at appulate.com. Also, you'll want to make sure that Mid-Atlantic is listed as one of your selected markets in Appulate. So you need to go to Markets and Selected. Make sure that Mid-Atlantic is one of your markets. If it's not, you can go to Markets and Available. And you can search for Mid-Atlantic and click on the plus sign to add them. Okay. If you need to add other users to your account, you can do that under Setup and Users. If you have any questions or issues or need help with that, you can always reach out to support at appulate.com or the Mid-Atlantic team for assistance. Last thing I want to show you is our help section. If you ever need any assistance, uh, you can, of course, contact Morgan. She's actually going to share her contact information with you again. The Mid-Atlantic team does not want you to waste time trying to figure things out. If you're confused, um, go ahead and reach out to the Mid-Atlantic team. But if you need more information, if you want to learn more about Appulate, or if you wanted to you know, slow this down and go at your own pace, we have documentation, articles, training, and video tutorials, which will be helpful for you. Our training uh, is getting a revamp that will launch April 24th. So our brand new e-learning course will be on here April 24th. In the meanwhile, you can always take a look at the current one that we have. And video tutorials, this webinar, uh, all of our webinars are posted here under market partner specific training. So if you'd like to view this again or share this with someone on your team, you can hop in here. Um, it'll be loaded here by tomorrow. It'll be loaded on our YouTube page, Appulate Inc., by today. So you can always go to either of those to uh, review, and we have a ton of other videos here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up for questions. If you have any questions for the Appulate or the Mid-Atlantic team, uh, we'd like to hear from you. And in fact, I'm going to leave this contact information screen open while we take questions so you can jot down Morgan's information if you need it. All right, any questions? Okay, so the first question here is, do I or the insured need a certain program to use the e-signature when signing Accord apps? Uh, I can take that one, Morgan. You do not. Uh, the Accord forms uh, that are in Appulate all come with the Appulate electronic signatures. So you do not need to install anything. You do not need a separate program. That is all integrated within Appulate. Okay, we have a hand raised by one of our attendees. It looks like they would like to ask a question. 
Uh, so let me find you, and I can unmute you so you can ask your question out loud to the group. Kent, you're, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Leanne. Leanne, you're unmuted. Go ahead and ask your question. Hi, um, we just had a question, uh, like, is there a way that the agency uh, team can see other folks' quotes, like, you know, when somebody's out on vacation and, and another person needs to finish up, is it accessible to see other people's quotes? Yes, I'll take that one, Morgan. So you absolutely can. Uh, however, if you would like to change that setting, you can go into your settings and make it so that you your agency can only see um, your own accounts, or you can make it so that you have read-only access to others, or you can, by default, I think it's set to where you can all view each other's and work together. So you absolutely can, and if that's a setting that you do not want, you can also change it. Yes, we do want. Thank you very much. Of course, and if you have any questions with that, you can always reach out to support at appulate.com for assistance. Thank you for your question, Leanne. We have another hand raised. Uh, Kent, let me unmute you. There you go. Go ahead, Kent. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out exactly what kind of markets y'all are looking for or what the appetite is here. Uh, whether right. it's with standard markets, trucking, hauling, you know, what what is the benefit of Appulate versus the carriers we might already represent? That's a very uh, good question. That, so Appulate is, is a technology partner. That's a question for uh, Morgan, for the Mid-Atlantic team. So Morgan, over to you. What is your appetite? What are you looking for? Um, Lindsay, would you actually like want to talk, talk about our appetite a little more? Yeah, definitely. Um, the things you'll find more successful will be contractors, um, restaurants. We write a lot of those. Um, we write only on admitted paper, so it's all going to be standard carriers. Um, normally, we try to figure out which carriers you guys have access to to make sure that we're not going to a carrier that you already have. So um, like the benefit, it, it would be like you're sending in the information and we can get it to our carrier faster. But of course, if you have direct access to Hartford or Travelers, we won't go there. We'll go to another carrier that you don't have access to. Does okay. that answer your question? Yeah, so, um, so Appulet is just the paperwork people. Yep, that, yep, that, just that, the paperwork, just an easier way for us to pretty much take all that information and put it straight into our rating system right, so that we don't have to repeat okay. what's on there. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's a great question, Kent. Thank you. All right. So and also, have can, I ask, oh, can please, I ask Morgan, go ahead. Morgan with Mid Atlantic? Kent, if you have any further questions, um, you can reach out to me and I'll get you with a new business underwriter, you know, and we can go over what your, your agency sees a lot, okay? All right, Kent said that he would go ahead and do that. Very good, thank you. All right, so we have a couple of questions that have come in through chat. How are the companies selected for quoting? Morgan or Lindsay? Um, dep well, depending on, for quoting, what carrier we go to is by the appetite. Um, so we are gonna, and we also think about who has the best rate for that submission. Does that sum it up, Lindsay, you think? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it just depends on what it is that comes in because certain carriers will go only do apartments or, you know, certain carriers won't do new venture restaurants. So we take um, all of that into consideration and we pretty much just pick our top markets that we've had the most success with in that class. Or we just have to go by what state it's coming from and what state our carriers are in. And also we check to make sure we're not duplicating by your carriers. So I hope that answers that. Thank you. All right, the next question here is, uh, I just tried to log in and it said I do not have an account. Should I create one and also have my team create one? That's a great question. So um, it may be that you just don't have credentials but that your agency has an account. If you go through the sign-up process, it will actually notify you. It will say, oh, okay, um, your agency actually does have an account and this is your account admin. Would you like us to contact her to add you? Um, or it, if if it doesn't have any records of that, then it will go ahead and let you move forward with adding an account. So feel free to go through that sign-up process. Um, uh, if you need any additional assistance, you can always reach out to support at appulate.com to get you started. Next question here, how can I upload a cord from EasyLinks AMS? 
So we do have some, uh, so let me just say this, each agency management system has their own way of how you can print accord forms, and that's what you need to figure out. The way in which your management system will allow you to print accord forms, that's the same process that you'll use for Appulate, because Uplink installs as a print driver. So once you have Uplink installed on your desktop, then you'll go and figure out how to print from EasyLinks AMS, and instead of printing to your office or your home printer, you'll print to the Appulate Uplink printer option. We do have some tutorials step-by-step -step on how you can print if you don't know how to print from your management system in the Appulate uh, documentation section. So you're welcome to review those, and if you go in there and you can't find it, you can always reach out to support at Appulate.com to point you in that direction. Happy to help. How do I get Appulate Uplink? So that's a good question. Um, you could go to, uh, let me go back there and show it again. I want to make sure that everybody knows how to download Uplink. Bear with me here as I switch screens. So here under Tools and Appulate Uplink, so you'll have to log into Appulate, go to Tools, Appulate Uplink, choose your management system, and click on Download. It'll take less than a minute. All right, last call for any questions. Very good questions. All right, well, thank you so much. I am going to toss this back over to Morgan for some closing words. Before I do, I just want to thank the Mid-Atlantic team and thank you everyone for joining us today. Morgan? Yes, thank you so much, Vanessa. We really appreciate your help on this. And Lindsay, thank you for joining us today as well. Um, to our agents, if any additional training is needed for you or your agency, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to set up a private webinar for your company or even find a convenient time and date to come out and meet with your staff if needed. Um, thank you again for joining us today. We can't wait for you all to see the benefits of our Appulate portal can offer. Have a great day, everyone.